Okay, sir, done. So is there carbon at the end? Center. Uh, carbon, a carbon anion has eight electrons around its central carbon atom. Center. Carbon anion has eight electrons around it. That's it. So. This is a carbon ion. So if you see, two here, two here, two here, and Z is donating two more. So you have two, four, six, and eight. Eight electrons around the carbon. Sir, secondary carbonion and act a hydrogen thug way. Sorry, you're right. So, carbocation, eh? Who was the most stable? Methyl. Tertiary. Tertiary. Tertiary was the most. Tertiary was the most stable. Tertiary was the most stable when it was a carbocation. But carbocation is a problem. Opposite, sir. Yeah, it's opposite. Carbocation already has eight electrons. Two, four, six, eight. So the problem is it, since it already has eight electrons, and we know that CH3 is what type of group? Methyl. A carbon donating group. Carbon no, electron carbon. donating. Electron donating group. So it already has eight electrons. So if we're pushing in more electrons, then what's gonna happen? He doesn't need it. He doesn't need any more electrons, but we're trying to push in more electrons. So since we're trying to push them with more electrons, the carbon becomes highly what? unstable the carbon becomes highly unstable as a result if if any of the species come and attacks this carbon it breaks down 
so stability of carb anion so methyl group methyl carb anion is more stable than primary carb anion which is more stable than secondary carbocation sorry carbocation and carb anion which is more stable than tertiary carb uh, carb anion sir i have a question yeah if a methyl group is already electron donating how does it gain another electron they're not gaining electrons they're just pushing electrons they're just so it is sp2 hybridization so there is a one there's one p there's two p this is sp2 hybridization no this carbon already has one two Three. Sorry. P to the no, I mean the double double day this is how gonna act that the P to the active. It already has six electrons, right? And from another atom it's gaining two more. So it's gaining two more. So now he's already, he already has enough. His criteria has been fulfilled. It has eight electrons now. So now, if you're trying to push in more electrons towards the central carbon atom, the there's going to be a huge repulsion between the electrons. And due to this repulsion, the molecule will break up. That is why carb, carb anion, tertiary carb, carb anion is the least stable. Methyl carb anion is the most stable. Got it. Yes. Next is the inductive effect. So, Amra, we, we know what is the inductive effect, right? Inductive effect, Mane Honoje. If you're pushing electrons, for example, we just studied. So this is a hydrogen, this is a hydrogen, and this is a CH3. So the CH3 methyl is what type of group? It's an electron donating group. So it is pushing electrons towards this carbon. So this we call it a positive inductive effect we call it a positive inductive effect and if there is there are some groups which are electron withdrawing alba do you remember electron withdrawing groups alba oh, I said, yes do you remember electron withdrawing group um a bit a bit yeah 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 isn't it like isn't it like uh am i nh2 ish and it's no no yes no 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 so these are electron 
withdrawing group. So they'll give you a negative inductive effect. Okay, this so dispersal of charge or electron density stabilizes a species. Localization. Localization of charge. Electron density increases the reactivity. Can you please write this two down? So dispersion yeah. again, D de delocalization. Dispersion of charge means delocalization. When if the charges are well spread out, that stabilizes a species. Or if it's too much localized, if the charges are too much localized, then it increases the reactivity. So eta tumra actually pasha pashi amito upore and niche lexi tumar pasha pashi like but that's the difference. So dispersal of charge or electron density stabilizes a species. Localization of charge or electron density, you will need this concept in like a few moments. The inductive effect here, yes. sir. So, inductive effect is uh, permanent effect which arises whenever. It is a permanent effect which arises whenever an electron withdrawing group or electron donating group is attached to the end of a carbon chain. It is of two. take a diagram so for the time we, um, now we will be drawing it with different colors
carbon number two, carbon number three, carbon number four. Cl is an electron withdrawal. Sir? Yeah. Yes. Uh, then I didn't get the third point. Due to this electronegativity difference, there will be a heterolytic fission where the carbon become carbon atom becomes positively charged and the chlorine atom becomes negatively charged. So imagine this chlorine is going away. So this this has become CH3, CH2, 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 chlorine with a partially negative charge, carbon with a partially positive charge. So after this has been, this has gone away, what has happened? This has become CH3, CH2, 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 and a partially positive. So carbon number one, carbon number two, carbon number three, carbon number three. Acha, echo. tricky. if you can. Please concentrate and try to understand. Amrajudi, if we take two, two atoms, fluorine and chlorine, right? Fluorine and chlorine. So, Taiva, if we have fluorine and chlorine, whom do you think? will be more electronegative and if there is an electron pair in between a fluorine and a chlorine which way this will this flu, uh, electron pair go towards um chlorine 
I guess. Sure. Um, not sure, sir. Shalomim, who's the most electronegative at? Florin. Sure. Florin. 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 Because fluorine is the most more electronegative at. So what is electronegative at? Electronegative atom means that he has more hunger. To do what? To gain this electron. So why does it have more hunger? Because it's more partially positive. And it's positive in a sense that Positive K, who, what is positive? Positive is anyone who needs electrons, right? So fluorine and chlorine, both of them needs electrons, but who needs electrons more badly? Fluorine. Fluorine. Fluorine needs electrons more badly. So Ajunna, we can say that fluorine is more electropositive. So you fourth point higher the positive charge on a species higher will be its electro negativity. Excuse me, sir. Question after they're separated, fluorine ducky, but fluorine tau even. Um, Oraki, are they atoms or are they radicals? None of them. They are files. They are files. This, since fluorine is taking this electron away, this becomes a nucleophile. And since chlorine is losing its electron pair, this becomes an electrophile. Are agita uporita sir? Jekhane chlorine ta yeta tikke cholaje. This one. Um, yeah. This one. Yes, sir. So this becomes so whoever will accept a pair of electron, that is a nucleophile. Whoever Nucleo is nucleophile. Okay. Whoever is giving away a pair of electron, that's an electrophile. Sir, if in the uh, second diagram, if there was fluorine instead of chlorine, then would the same thing happen? The carbon one, the carbon chain one. If they had? If there was a fluorine instead of a chlorine, then would the same thing happen? Like this? Yeah. Obviously. Why not? Because fluorine is even more electronegative than chlorine. Tamaniki, he's, he, he's more hungry. He's more hungry to gain electrons, right? So if he's more hungry to gain electrons, it will become what? It will become electro negative. Negative. And carbon will become electro. But this will become a carbocation and this will be a nucleophile. So, carbocation, since it's a deficient in electron, it is an electrophile. And this fluorine, since it has a surplus of electron, this is a nucleophile. Okay, sir. So understand. So now, guys, listen. This is a carbon with a positive charge. A 
আচ্ছা আমরা একটু লেটস অলসো ট্রাভেল দিস সো ক্লোরিন ইজ হোয়াট ইটস এ ইলেকট্রো নেগেটিভ অ্যাটম ইটস এ ইলেকট্রন উইথড্রয়িং গ্রুপ so it is pulling electrons away from this carbon so carbon is becoming what carbon is becoming more deficient in electrons acha so ekhon amra we will consider carbon 1 and carbon 2 ekhon dekho এই কার্বনের ইলেকট্রন গুলো কে নিয়ে নিচ্ছে ইটস টেকেন অওয়ে বাই ক্লোরিন ওকে নাও দিস সেকেন্ড কার্বন দিস সেকেন্ড কার্বন ইলেকট্রনস উইল ইন্টার্ন বি টেকেন অওয়ে বাই দিস কার্বন এখন বলতে পারো যে স্যার দে হ্যাভ দ্য সেম ইলেকট্রো নেগেটিভিটি দেন ওয়াই উইল দিস কার্বন ওয়াই উইল দ্য ইলেকট্রনস অফ দিস কার্বন বি টেকেন অওয়ে বাই দিস কার্বন সো ইফ ইউ ইফ ইউ হ্যাভ লাইক ইফ ইউ হ্যাভ ফাইভ বয়েস স্ট্যান্ডিং ইন আ লাইন টুগেদার and they are ho- all holding hands with each other they're all holding hands with each other so if you if you pull one of the boys very strongly what will happen wouldn't it in turn pull the boy number 2 towards itself right Achha. yes same same is going here see in the same phenomena is going on here chlorine is taking electrons away from this carbon look it is taking away electron from away from this carbon so this carbon now he needs electron because his electrons has been taken away by chlorine so now what will he do it now it will try it will pull the electrons of this carbon towards itself right acha so if it's pulling electrons towards itself this will also become partially positive but will this partially positive carbon atom be more positive than this carbon no why not because this carbon was directly linked to a more electron negative atom and this carbon is linked to a carbon which is obviously partially positive because here its electrons has been taken away by chlorine but obviously it will not be pulling the electrons as strongly as chlorine right ekon ei ekta chhele ke tumi ekhan theke you you are trying to pull away pull him away so what is doing he is also pulling number 2 but obviously what will one try to do one will try to stabilize itself right it will try to stabilize itself so to me jay strength the one can pull put to so will one pull two with the same strength no it will try to stabilize acha if so suppose he has moved this much one but two has moved this much so what about 3 will it move as much as number 2 and 1 or will it dip, will it move less it will move less it will move less so ekhane as you go away mane joto tumi bam dike dike jaba tokhon toto etar effect the effect will be decreasing 
ঠিক আছে আচ্ছা এটাকে তুমি আমরা যদি আরেকটা এক্সাম্পল নেই তোমাদের জন্য আরেকটু ইজিয়ার হবে দ্যাট ইজ সি এইচ থ্রি সি এইচ থ্রি সি এইচ থ্রি সি এইচ থ্রি অ্যান্ড দ্য সি এইচ থ্রি সো ইলে ক্লোরিন ইজ ইলেকট্রন উইথড্রয়িং তাহলে হোয়াট ইজ সি এইচ থ্রি What is electron CH3? donating? Electron donating. E- electron donating. So, electron donating to the hoi. So, it's donating the carbon, to the, uh, electrons to the first carbon. So, if it's donating electron to this, it will become what? Partially positive. Yeah, I'll just explain. So, CH3 is partially positive so since it's donating electrons it's making these carbons more negative right but carbon one joto negative hobby will carbon two be as much negative as carbon one no right because the car- there's an electron donating group linked to this carbon but this this carbon is not linked to an electron donating group so that's why carbon one will be more electronegative than carbon two carbon two will be more electronegative than carbon three and carbon three will be more electronegative than carbon four and here it's just the opposite carbon one will be more electropositive than carbon two carbon two will be more electropositive than carbon three and carbon 3 will be more electropositive than carbon 4 